Hey, what is going on, Karasuno family? My name is Mike, and welcome back to another Karasuno TV episode. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are moving on to the final Danmachi Season 2 uh, episode, episode 12. You know, it's it's been a long journey now. Wow, I can't believe we've, we've now watched, you know, if, starting from Season 1, Episode 1, we watched the first 13 of Season 1, and now we've watched the 12 of Season 2. We're, we've it's been 25 episodes it's you know yeah you know it's not that much right um making a big deal of nothing here but still you know 25 episodes two full seasons fully watched fully uploaded onto the channel that's pretty exciting guys first full series um and then you know even more exciting is that we're caught up in time for season three that's going to be airing live in the fall it's going to be on the channel so make sure you subscribe and you know stay up to date with all the latest stuff uh, all the latest series i'm doing on my channel um that's exciting guys so uh you know we're we're gonna we're gonna be wrapping this series up today with this episode you know if you recall if you watched episode 11 um it was dealing with rakia right the outside town aries aries capturing hestia the whole goddess and child love thing not the best episode actually one of the weakest in the series so far i just think that the whole Hestia and Bell, you know, love plot. It's not good. You know, I I don't think anyone ships them. I I don't think that. I think that that's like the the lowest on my tier. Like I would ship. I think any other female over them, even Ishtar, like, and that's saying a lot. Uh, so, um, it was a weak episode, and, and I feel like you know, judging by the title of this one, this one's called Song of Love goddess and child we're definitely going to be you know wrapping it up and you know that's sort of how we're going to take season two out so it's not going to end on a great note i don't think but you know we'll see I, i'm leaving my mind open hopefully we get a little tie into season three uh, i mean i watched the trailer for season three so i know you know roughly what it's going to be about um but it would be cool if we could at least get a little tie-in. So, uh, like I said, guys, subscribe. Check the description box. Got a lot of socials down there. Discord especially, guys. Join the Discord. That's awesome stuff. Um, but other than that, let's hop in, guys. This is going to be the final Don Machi Season 2 episode. Episode 12. Let's fly, Crows. Okay, so if you recall last time, you know, we saw Bell and Hestia falling, right? Bell catches Hestia. Ice jumps down. I'm assuming Ice, you know, saved them. But basically... They're okay, you know, they've, you know, this is, this is after all of that, so. Nobody's injured, nobody's hurt. Maybe Hestia. Yep, it was Ice, of course. I, I know it. Interesting. What's this guy, you know, he sort of, rec he seems like he recognized Hestia. Oh, maybe it was a former lover. That's what the whole plot is about, right? Of this, like, you know, this this last, like, two-episode mini-arc. The way that he recognized her. Wow. Maybe. Ha! <laughs> she sucked. Ooh. <laughs> so he, he looks like he's on his way out then, huh? You know, I, I'm telling you, it's probably going to be tied to that whole plot, you know, because they were saying how, yeah, he was looking at a picture there, too, about how the mortals have such a short lifespan compared to the goddesses, so the love doesn't really work out and all that. Oh, there's a festival? Hmm. Is that ice? <laughs> Look how she's dressed. <laughs> she's ready for the festival, I said. I guess. <laughs> it's funny how, you know, because she's so out of touch with her emotions, ice, you know, even when she gets like the little like embarrassed kind of blush that like Bell gets, you know, Bell's face lights up, right? You can really tell because he's very, you know, he portrays his emotions right he's very transparent but her eyes she really doesn't and so when she gets embarrassed like that she only has like two little small ticks that they drew on her face right to show that she's embarrassed whereas like bell's got like a full face of it so it's a cool little detail that they did there oh 
Okay, so we're 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 tying into the Black Dragon and the the Great Quests. Interesting. I wouldn't I wouldn't think about that out out you know in this random village. Cool how they're you know they're tying this in. You know, it's cool how they're working it into the story. I wonder if you know if they're gonna if the Black Dragon's gonna you know be present maybe the next season or or after that. Oh, so there are monsters that roam around outside too, outside of the city. Interesting. Ooh, ice. She she's staring at this black dragon skull. Now, did did the Loki familia have a run in with it? Oh yeah, she seems to have some sort of PTSD almost. Was he going to tell him? Is he going to give him the rundown on what happened? Ooh, it's some sort of crest, right? Mm. Okay, so it's going to be a different goddess. I, at first I thought it would be Hestia, but no. Yeah, <laughs> look at this flashback. Ooh. Oh, yeah, look. The pillar, she went back to heaven. Oh, but how... So, yeah, what's what's up with the daughter? Yeah, adopted. Okay. That's the always scheming. <laughs> you gotta love it when when she doesn't get get her way. <laughs> That's all she could like say is he's a rabbit. Why is Hestia happy all of a sudden? Is Hestia trying to ship them now or something? Maybe she realizes that, like, you know, she doesn't have a chance anymore. Oh! Is Belle gonna ask somebody? Belle's gotta ask guys. Come on. She's trying to con him. She's trying to con him into, uh... Don't do it, Belle. Come on, you got ice standing right there. Right in front of ice. I do not approve. What's, what's the butt? What's the butt, Bell? Ooh, he's worried about that. Oh, the mayor's dead. Yep, I knew it. He kicked the bucket in the old guy. Mm -hmm. The music's really good here, guys. It's selling the scene. Oh, it's the opening. It's Hello to Dream. Oh, 
Oh, it was Hestia? No. Or is she just acting like... She's acting like her, I guess. Wow, so Hestia does have a heart. Hmm, that was tough. Rough scene there. Pretty good, though, I gotta say. Started getting a little emotional. Ooh. Hesse's got some good words here, guys. These are more of like the, you know, really great familia goddess. Like supporting words that she's giving, you know, it's not the it's not the the love crap that we don't we don't want out of her. Exactly. Will you be my child? Will you join my familia? You know, not like will you be my lover and all this garbage. She's being a really good familia leader. Yeah, it's a different kind of love. It's a family kind of love, you know. It's not like a two lovers. It's like a, you know, like a mother and, and son. Ooh, and Ice just stands off in the distance looking up. Wonder what's going through her head, but we, we never know. Ooh, the first ending kicking in here at the end. Never mind, this is the second ending. <laughs> ah, speech is flying above, watching. <laughs> the denial. Look, Miyak, Take, everyone's there. Haruhime jumping right at Bell. <laughs> My boy Wealth, of course. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more after that ending. Now, maybe this is what I was saying about connecting to the third season. Or maybe this has something to do with the black. No, wait. Yes, this is. The, the, I, I recognize her from the, the third season trailer. So she popped out of, popped out of like the wall of the dungeon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That was um the final episode of Don Machi season two. And with that, we are now caught up on Don Machi, the anime. Um, obviously, I did not watch Sword uh, or Dottoria or, you know, or any of the movies. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to fit that in. So, you know, that's something that I'll look into possibly watching after season three. We'll see how things go. But we are now caught up and ready for season three. Uh, insane, honestly, uh, you know how far we've come. So to be honest, in this last episode, I, I didn't think that, you know, it was going to end. I thought it was going to end on just like an okay note. But I think that the the whole plot and the the chat that they had with Karm, right? You know, the mayor, Karm san he was introduced this episode, right? And like the little mini plot with him dying and everything like that, you know, that happened all contained within this episode. And it actually was really nice. You know, it did, it did offer like some good emotional beats. Um, so I, I thought that they, they took what was a lackluster 11th episode. They, they turned it around and, and, and made it like a, a great last episode, I think. Um, and we did end up getting the little season three tease as well. The little monster girl popping out of the, the wall and clearly, you know, it's the star of the show in the season three trailer guys if you haven't seen that go check that out it's the my reaction to it. it's up on my channel but um you know they they they, they ended it on a good note and, and, and i'm happy with that so overall though i guess overall thoughts quickly on season two is um 
The war game, a little bit disappointing. It feels like so long ago now. Uh, a little bit disappointing. Felt a little bit rushed, but um, you know, overall, like you know, decent. The the last two episodes, like I said, the beginning with Ares, not so good, but then it ended like okay, um, and it ended like on a pretty good emotional beat. Uh, but the 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 meat of the season, I guess, from episodes five to like through 10. So like those six episodes, you know, dealing with the East Star Familia, really great. I, I honestly like that a lot. I, I think that Hirohime is a really strong character. I think that all the, you know, the development within that arc was was really good. You know, of, of all the, the characters, Makoto, um, Bell, of course. Um, and, and I think that the mature, like, sort of atmosphere of the Ishtar Familia and, you know, the like touchy subjects that it dealt with. I, I think that they handled it really well. And I think that, that, um, you know, it, it's a story that, that separated itself from what we've seen so far. Like it wasn't, it didn't just fall into like the same, you know, Oh, we're delving back into the dungeon now, you know, sort of what season one was about, you know, it was its own unique thing. And, and I, I liked that a lot. Um, you know, it was unique, you know, we got to see a lot of cool things throughout it, you know, a lot of different, um, familias got, you know, got involved. We got to see the Freya familia for the first time. So I think that as a, uh, by itself, the Ishtar Familia arc was was fantastic. I, I think that really well done, and um, you know the the way that they handled everything was was really great. So, uh, you know, overall, season two was was good. You know, it's tough to compare it to season one. I, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I think that outside of the Ishtar Familia arc, you know, it was definitely weaker, but the Ishtar Familia arc was very strong. So. I, I'd say that's probably on par with season one. So season one's probably a little bit better, you know, just, you know, uh, taking it as a sum of its parts, but they're close. And I, I wouldn't say that it was like a noticeable drop off in quality. So all things considered, I'm, I'm excited and I'm hopeful for season three. I think they'll probably do a good job. They've gotten a lot of time now, you know, with the coronavirus uh, delay and, um, you know, and it's just been a while, even even if it were to have aired, you know, when it was supposed to. They've had a lot of time. I think that they're going to do a good job, you know, pacing. We'll see about pacing, too. So uh, exciting times ahead, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date with all of my latest content, which, you know, is, you know, uh, I got a bunch of series coming up in the fall, including Don Machi Season 3. I know all the Don Machi viewers want to see that, so stay up to date with that, and um, check the description box as well, because I got uh, all my socials down in there. I got Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and of course, the new Karasano TV Discord. Guys, you, you're going to want to join that. It, it's it's awesome. You know, we'll be able to interact on the daily, uh, you know, and and chat. It's, it's a really cool experience, but thank you guys so much for all the support, and thank you, as always, for watching. I really appreciate it. It really means the world to me, so I can't wait to see you in the next video, guys.